Number 5. OGLE 2005 BLG 390 Pound. OGLE 2005 BLG 390 Pound is a rocky exoplanet with a very thin atmosphere located right in the middle of our own Milky Way. All three factors made astronomers suspect that it could contain life when it was discovered. However, they now believe that it does not due to the exoplanet's super-low temperature. 6. The surface temperature on OGLE 2005 BLG 390 pound is around minus 220 degrees Celsius, minus 364 degrees Fahrenheit, which is too low to support life as we know it. For comparison, by some accounts, the lowest temperature ever recorded here on Earth is minus 97.8 degrees Celsius, minus 144 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature was recorded in an area of ice-cold Antarctica that has never seen sunlight. An attempt to breathe in that area will destroy our lungs and cause instant death. Number 4. Tres 2b. Tres 2b is the darkest planet out there. It is so black that coal will appear lighter if both were ever placed side by side. Tres 2b is the size of Jupiter and located in the Draco constellation 750 light years away from Earth. Its star is GSC 03549-02811, which is almost like our Sun Tres 2b is black because its atmosphere absorbs over 99% of the light it receives from the Sun. Astronomers believe that the exoplanet reflects so little light because its atmosphere is filled with vaporized sodium and potassium or gaseous titanium oxide, nevertheless, being black does not mean that the exoplanet is cool. In fact, its atmospheric temperatures reach over 980 degrees Celsius 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. This extremely high temperature causes some parts of the exoplanet to emit a red glow, just like burning coal or electric stove coils. Astronomers also suspect that the exoplanet is so close to its star that both are tidally locked. Number 3. Ogle TR-56b. Planet Ogle TR-56b lies in the Sagittarius constellation 5,000 light-years away from Earth. It is one of the hot Jupiters we talked about earlier. Hot Jupiters are often formed farther out in their stellar systems and later move closer to the stars. Planet Ogle TR-56b has already moved too close to its own star. It is so near that a year is 29 hours long, and the exoplanet's surface temperature reaches 2,000 kelvins. Over there, the clouds are not made of water but of vaporized iron. Rain falls to the ground as hot liquid iron. Number 2. Venus. Deadly planets do not only exist outside our solar system. We have one lurking nearby, too. Without a doubt, Venus is the deadliest planet in our solar system thanks to its sulfur dioxide-rich clouds. Those clouds prevent useful sunlight from reaching the planet's surface and stop deadly carbon dioxide from leaving the atmosphere. The surface of Venus is filled with volcanoes that emit large amounts of heat and carbon dioxide. The large deposit of carbon dioxide makes Venus poisonous for humans. The thick clouds also trap heat and gas, making the planet lethally hot. Temperatures reach a hostile 467 degrees Celsius, 872 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot temperature remains constant all over the planet, even at the poles. Other hot planets are often cooler at the poles. Venus also retains this high temperature every day of the year. Even the nights are as hot as the days. Researchers think that Venus would be similar to Mercury if Venus did not have these clouds. Interestingly, it also rains and snows on Venus, although things are quite different than what occurs on Earth. The snow is not made of liquid but of galena and bismuthinite metals. Rainfall is composed of deadly sulfuric acid. However, the high temperature on the planet means that rain never touches the ground. Instead, it evaporates midway to form another cloud. Number 1. Proxima b. Proxima b looked promising when it was discovered. It orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star 4.24 light years away from Earth. The exoplanet interested astronomers who thought that it had water and Earth-like properties. However, they soon discovered that they were wrong, Proxima b is so close to Proxima Centauri that the exoplanet completes an orbit in 11.2 days. It is also tidally locked, leaving one side deadly hot and the other fatally cold and frozen. Between the two is a middle ground that is more temperate. However, that region is unlikely to support life because of Proxima Centauri, as we mentioned earlier, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf. One characteristic of such stars is their tendency to release solar flares every two to three months that strike the planets orbiting around the stars. 
Those flares would destroy the ozone layers of those planets, making them vulnerable to ultraviolet radiation from the stars. We observed one such event on March 24, 2017, when Proxima Centauri released a solar flare toward exoplanet Proxima b. The flare was so intense that the star became 1,000 times brighter within 10 seconds. Proxima b received 4,000 times the radiation that reaches the Earth from solar flares. That is bad for anything living on the exoplanet. Thanks for watching.